are doing exactly what they need to be doing. So when we're going working on square roots um, or taking the square root or even the cube roots, what we talked about was the first thing was kind of the long way. But it's important that you guys understand that you can always do this. Anytime that you're getting mixed up, Stephen, could you move into that seat on the other side, Quijan, so you're not having to turn your neck like that? Just move over there. So first thing we got to do is um, what we talked about was prime factorize I know. Now, obviously, guys, hopefully you understand that square to 64 is going to be 8. But let's break it down, though, and just kind of see where that comes from again. So if I had 64, what we do is we prime factor it. So I can break that down into like 8 times 8, 4 times 2, 2 times 2, 4 times 2, 2 times 2. So therefore, basically, the prime factorization of 64 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Would everybody agree with me? Yeah. Yes. All right. Now, what we did to determine the prime factorization, I'm sorry, to take the square root of a number, once we've written it down as a product of its primes, for the square root, we took out pairs, right? Anytime you're taking a square root of your number, you can take them now out of the square root. So I'm left with 2 times 2 times 2, which ends up being 8, correct? Now, when we're looking at doing the cube root, if the square root, I'm taking pairs of twos, what do you think I'm going to do for the cube root? Threes. I'm going to take out threes, groups of threes. So now I'll do one, two. So then that was just going to be two times two, which is equal to four. So the cube root of 64 is going to be four. Okay? And that's basically what you're doing. Now, 